they really are the basic building blocks of knitting. And once you've got this down, you can make just about anything uh, um, simple. <laughs> Hello knitters, Barbara Benson here. I'm an independent knitwear designer who also likes to make videos here on my YouTube channel, Watch Barbara Knit. Make sure to check in the description notes below where you will find links to all of my online shenanigans, including how to get my patterns to knit up for yourself, how to join the Watch Barbara Knits Facebook group, how to buy my merchandise, and how to support me on Patreon. Today, the topic of this video actually came from the Watch Barbara Knit Facebook group and a discussion that was there. It is one of those kind of things that um, experienced knitters take for granted that this is just something people know, but it's one of those things that does anyone ever actually teach anyone? <laughs> what it is. So I uh, told them I would go ahead and make a quick video on it. Um, this is maybe a little refresher course for those y'all who are experienced with this, but hopefully it will help some people. And what this is, is talking about really the most basic of knitting stitch patterns, which are stockinette, garter, and reverse stockinette. Now, I have filmed my hands. For those of you who are more visual, there will be a hand demonstration. But for those of you who your learning style is more of a verbal one, I'm going to do a brief explanation and probably even write it out. For those of you who learn by reading, I'll write it out probably over here. There's more blank space. <laughs> I will write out what I'm saying. Now, First, you need to know that how you make garter and how you make stockinette and reverse stockinette is different depending on how you are knitting, okay? Whether you're knitting flat or knitting in the round, they're different techniques. And I'll explain that when I'm showing my hands. If you are knitting flat and you want to make stockinette, now stockinette looks visually like this part where the only thing you're seeing are smooth knit stitches. If you want to make stockinette while knitting flat, you want to knit your right side rows and purl your wrong side rows. Okay. Now the reverse of stockinette is reverse stockinette. So you can either when working flat, either purl your right side rows and knit your wrong side rows, or just knit it like stockinette and then turn it over and declare it reverse stockinette because it is literally just the back side. Just depends on how you want to make it. Now, knitting flat, if you want to make garter, that is this nubbly texture right here. Knitting flat, if you want to make garter, you knit every row. Also, you can make garter flat by purling every row. It pretty much produces the same result. It just depends on if you prefer knitting or purling or if your tension is better, either knitting or purling. So working flat, stockinette is knit the right side, purl the wrong side. Garter is knit every row or purl every row. Reverse stockinette is purl the right side, knit the wrong side. Now, working in the round, if you want stockinette, but you're working in the round, you simply knit every row because only the knit stitches will show on the outside. If you want reverse stockinette in the round, you purl every row. Okay. Now, if you want garter in the round, you have to alternate knit and purl rows. You knit a row, then purl a row, then knit a row and purl a row on and on and on until it's the size you want. So 
what it comes down to is knitting in the round, stockinette tends to be easier. Knitting garter in the round is a little bit more of a challenge, but it's the same as knitting stockinette flat because it's knit a row purl a row. So they flip flop from each other. So <laughs> now I'm going to cut to my hands where I'm going to physically show you uh, illustrations of how this works. First thing we need to understand the anatomy of the knit stitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do something called duplicate stitching. Uh, so this is sort of a twofer, so you're going to see how to duplicate stitch. When I duplicate stitch, what I'm doing is tracing the path that the yarn makes when you make your knit stitch. So I'm going to start here because that is, you can see between these two bits, that horizontal bar. So that is part of our stitch. And then the yarn goes up and then goes right here behind the V of the stitch coming up out of it. So there, oh, of course it's going to do that. Now, the yarn then travels back down and then through behind these two legs. So I'm going to do this, pull it through gently, right? So that is what the knit stitch, that is how the yarn moves. And I'm using this contrasting yarn so you can see. So it goes behind these two legs of this stitch, up behind these two legs of this stitch, comes back down and goes behind these two legs. And this is actually two different stitches. This is the like following leg, the second leg of this stitch and the first leg of the next stitch. So then we're gonna go back up here. Now these are both, this is one stitch in the row above it that grows out of the stitch we're tracing. And then again, we go, this is the number two leg of this stitch and the number one leg of the next stitch. And then you pull through And you see, so those, that is what, that's the path your yarn follows, and that is your knit stitch. We could do another one. And there we go. The reason I wanted to show you this is because what I wanna make abundantly clear is this is your knit stitch. When you are knitting, this is the knit stitch. The back side of your knit stitch is the purl stitch. If you were purling, the front side would look like knit. And here you can see, see those little blue bumps? Those are, that is how the purl happens. You see? It's showing on the wrong side. Now, I'm gonna take this and trace a purl stitch. So here is, that is the top of the stitch below from the right side. And what we're going to do, let me, is go up through here. I might not have enough yarn to do this up through this purl bump, get out of the way, and then go back down through both of these purl bumps. Now you can very distinctly see all of those purl bumps, and if I flip it back over, you can see the blue is almost invisible, right? Because it's tracing behind this knit stitch. So what I'm trying to illustrate is the knit stitch is one side, typically considered the right side, 
And the purl stitch is the other side, typically considered the wrong side. Now I'm going to pull this out just so that it doesn't get too confusing. I'm just going to get those guys out. So, if you are working flat and you knit every row, so we're knit, 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 knitting along, and then we turn it over and we knit, you get what is called garter stitch. This is garter. It is knit every row. And what happens is if I stretch this out, you'll see, see this one? See this stitch that has the V on the bottom? That is a knit stitch, okay? But when we knitted it on the wrong side, we get the purl showing because it was knit on the wrong side. So it looks like you have a row of knits and then a row of purls and then a row of knits and then a row of purls and they alternate back and forth and that looks like what is called garter. It is knitting every row. Now, if you knit every row when you're working in the round, the only thing that is going to be presented on the right side is your knit stitch. Because you're never turning it over, you don't get to see the wrong side. I'm trying to get this out because it's in my way. Get out of there. So if you knit every row and you're working in the round like this, you get a fabric where you can only see the knit stitches, only the knit side of your stitch, which is called stockinette or stocking stitch. This is like your classic, what you think of when you think of knitting. It's this where you're presenting only the knit stitches, that's all you can see from the right side. Now, if you look over, you can only see purl stitches from the wrong side. Now, if you were to knit in the round and purl every row so that this was the side that was out, this is called very creatively, reverse stockinette. It is literally the reverse of stockinette, right? So if you want reverse stockinette to be your right side, you have to purl, right? If you're working in the round, all you do is purl. <laughs> but if you want stockinette, when you're knitting flat, you knit a row, and when you turn it over, you want the knit to show on the right side, so you purl this row. You purl your wrong side row. Then you flip it back over and you knit a row, and then you flip it back over and you purl a row. And that is so the only thing that is presenting on the right side is your stockinette. You only see your knit stitches. Going back, if you're knitting in the round and you knit a row and then purl a row, you get garter because it's all about what you see from the right side. But when you're working in the round, you just keep going around and round in circles. So if all you did is knit, as we said, you're going to get stockinette. If you want garter in the round, you have to knit a row and then purl a row because you want to see that purl. Knit a row, purl a row. Now, if you are knitting flat, you can also achieve garter 
in a different way, which would be purling every row. Because if you purl your right side row and then you flip it over and you purl your wrong side row, it's gonna put the knit on the right side. So if you knit every row or purl every row, when you are working flat, you get garter. Some people, I know it might be hard for you to some of you to believe, some people prefer purling. So you can achieve garter by either knitting every row or purling every row, but that is only when working flat. If you purl every row when you're working in the round, you get reverse stockinette. If you knit every row when working in the round, you get plain old stockinette. And then back to the beginning, if you want stockinette when you're working flat, you knit the right side rows and purl the wrong side rows. I have the sneaky feeling that I might have made things just more confusing. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I hope that didn't make everything just more confusing. Uh, I'm not gonna repeat everything, but you might need to go back and rewatch it. I'll make sure that the stuff is written out. They really are the basic building blocks of knitting. And once you've got this down, you can make just about anything uh, um, simple, <laughs> you know? Stockinette, reverse stockinette, and garter. If you only have those three stitches, you can still knit yourself beautiful, beautiful, just about anything. If you enjoy those and you want to stick with those, you don't even have to learn how to do any other stitches Is if you're okay with just knitting like flat things and tubes. You need increases and decreases to do some shaping, but you can get a long way with just stockinette, reverse stockinette, and garter. If you like this video, please give the thumbs up, click that like button. And if you would like to be notified whenever I upload a new video, please subscribe to my channel and select notifications. And you know what? If you have any more questions like this, hop over to the Watch Barber Knit Facebook group or ask them in the comments below and I might be able to uh, make a video on it. So thank you all so much.